are in need of assistance concerning the large ship in orbit, and we value discretion in this matter. If you are willing and able, please see me as soon as possible at the main security office in Paradiso. Over and out. in my ignorance. We just didn't expect to find people out here. We didn't think anyone else left Earth before us. You thought you were the only ones? I am afraid you have been unaware of a great many things. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I don't know all the particulars, but I'll try to answer as best I can. It's a colony ship. It was built long ago by our ancestors to sustain our crew over hundreds of years in space through generations of travelers. It's sturdy, fast, and spacious. That last one is important because we had to take as many supplies as possible with us on the journey and still have ample space for our crew. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. Our engineers believe it's possible to our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. So, here we are. Let's talk. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? We suspect that our equipment is woefully obsolete compared to whatever you all have now. In all honesty, we never expected to need to communicate with anyone, so our comms aren't particularly robust. That limits our options. We even attempted communicating with lights and sounds, something we saw in an old movie, but I don't believe they picked up on it. If anything, it may have inadvertently alarmed them. We know there's a settlement on the planet below, meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Thank you, and good luck.
Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, oh, yes. Let's get right to it then. As you can imagine, we've got a predicament on our hands. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. Well, if you're speaking on their behalf, I'll refer you right along to the chairman of the Paradiso Group's board, Oliver Campbell. All formal decisions will go through him, not me. I'll let him know you're on your way. I can see why this location was chosen for a resort. Very nice. recall ever having the time, let alone the funds, for a vacation someplace like this. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Have fun in the shark tank. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. And you must be the... diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here, temporarily, but it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grave drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grave drive, it'd be him. 
We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck! They deserve a renewed chance to decide their own fates. That is the right thing to do. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your... Enjoy your stay here. The business runs through Hope Town, and from what I understand, most of it is legal. All right, Adela. Deep breath. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed, or worse. I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> so I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel, nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe... You can deal with the tracker? Listen, I just haul, well, garbage. But you, I mean, you're armed and look, well, awesome. I figure you could do a solid for the little guy, uh, girl. Plus credits. I did mention the credits, right? This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. As dives go, this place ain't bad. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markab? I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Sorry, nothing personal. heard the fighting. I'm so sorry. Take this reward. I have to go before another tracker arrives. Thank you. Just need a few supplies and I'm gone for good. I don't want to hear any complaints. What can I do for you? Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. 
So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. With some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. But it's not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor and it's yours. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. Engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. I suppose we'll just chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that matches the quality of Paradiso. Uh, Purima 2 here. Hmm. Payment. I hope that's not all you care about. It's not enough to help a ship full of poor colonists searching for a new home, I suppose. Still, you did help us. We don't have much to spare, but I'm sure we can find some way of repaying you. Don't forget to tell of us in your travels. 